So you're a cybersecurity student and you want to learn some bash scripting. Maybe you've heard it from somewhere that you need to learn bash scripting, or maybe you have seen it on YouTube that you want to be able to write some simple bash scripts. Well, first I want you to know that you don't need to know any bash in order to break into the world of cybersecurity or even to get certified, but it is helpful in very specific cases. So we're going to cover the helpful bash in the first part of this video. And in the second half, we're going to cover for loops just a little bit, just because it's something that students always want to know more about is the for loop. They see it, they think it looks cool, but it's really kind of complicated and kind of not. So I want to just encourage you, maybe just watch it and then later come back at a later date and actually put your mind to learning for loops because they're not something you're really going to need and you're probably going to forget them if you don't use them. But before we hop into it, please subscribe. It really helps keep me motivated and making these videos and giving you good content. I made a list here, call it out. It looks like this. It's a very simple list. I just Googled list and copied and pasted. And now let's say this is a list of users and we want just this first line right here. We would do the same thing. We'd cut out the list and then we would cut at the delimiter and then we're going to put a space there and we want field one. So this right here grabs us this first line and you can actually change this and grab field two depending on what you need. And so depending on how this is spaced, you'll put different things in this space right here. So you can go ahead and play around with this. This is something that is going to be useful to you. And so we have this double plan plan and syllabus syllabus we can if we want just one thing out of the list we can do pretty much the same thing and then we can grab one and then we can add in another pipe and we can sort and then we can go by unique and what happens is we come down and we get this plan and we only have one plan i actually think yeah as i say i think we can run this without the c and you'll grab just the unique ones out of there but let's say this is a huge list and we want maybe just the ones that have the word plan in it so you can just come in here and we can actually go grep and then plan and it'll pull these down right here and i believe if we wanted the whole entire line like every single line that included plans so let's say we had like an administrator and we wanted to see every line that had to do with an administrator, you'd put grep plan and it'd pull down every single line for you that had this word in it. So this is really the basic simple bash that is gonna be useful for you. There is one more command that is going to be helpful for you and that is the awk command. And it's gonna look like this. So we'll do the same thing we did before. We're gonna cut out the list and we're gonna pipe this over and we're gonna awk and then we want to cut at field and then we're going to put in where we want to cut at and we're going to put that space remembering our list has a space in between the characters and then we will want to print so we'll put these set this up put the curly braces and we're going to print and let's say we want field one we'll put the dollar sign and the one in here and this will grab field one for us and if we wanted field two we put field two in here just give you what this looks like. We're grabbing number one, field column one, and then we're grabbing column two. And so you'll see the aught command two pretty regularly. And really that's all you need to know in the world of bash scripting. If you want to learn something and you feel like it will make you a better cybersecurity guru, then this is what I would say learning. I know there are a lot of people who want to learn for loops as well. And so we'll go ahead and take a look at those. We're going to go ahead and look at the for loops now. As I have said before, I am not a bash fan. And so I'm going to show you bash and Python for loops. This isn't really a video to teach you how to do for loops. I'm going to show you how they work. But when you start writing for loops, I'm just going to let you know there's going to be a lot of Googling involved because there's a lot of different ways to write for loops and it's really helpful to read and go on Stack Overflow and see how other people write their for loops and then kind of fall into your own way of writing for loops. So anyway, we'll go ahead and check out the, this bash for loop I have written right here. We'll just cat out bash. And so when we look at this, what's happening in this for loop is let's say we have this IP address right here. This we're on this network 10, 10, 10, and we want to scan the entire network. We want to scan every single possibility 
Um, in this case, we're only going to do 1 through 10, but we want to scan these IP addresses from 10, 10, 10, 1 all the way to 10. So this for loop would go ahead and spit out all the IP addresses for us. So we have this 4, and this is our variable in this range from 1 to 10, it's going to do something. And so what we're going to have it do is print or echo these IP addresses as it goes as it goes through the for loop. So every time this runs through the for loop, it's going to go and it's going to say this variable is going to take the place of 1 and then it's going to go through and it's going to echo out 10 10 10 1. And then the for loop is going to run again, and this variable is now going to be the number 2. And just go 10, 10, 10, 2. And it's just going to run that way. So the way this runs, it will look like this. This is a pretty simple bash for loop. But the more complicated they get, I find bash becomes really hard. The syntax becomes really hard to remember. So I prefer Python, and it's probably because I'm familiar with Python, and I write everything in Python. So the Python is going to look like this. So it's pretty similar. We got the variable in range of 10. So our for loop says for the variable in the range of 10, it's going to do the same thing we did before. And I have an F string here. So that way we can print the variable in our string. And that's probably not real familiar with you. And if you're curious about F strings, you can Google them and see how they work. So when we run this, it's going to look the exact same minus we have a start out with a zero. And if we wanted to run a real scan against a network, I've gone ahead and connected to hack the box. And let's say I wanted to scan their entire network. I would really just do this right here. If I wanted to fingerprint their network, I would in map it and I'd go 10, 10, 10, and then the zero through 24. And it's going to hit 256 hosts. And if you give it a second, it will start throwing out open ports and it'll give me the IP address for those ports. So look, it's scanning all of these different IP addresses within the network and it's spitting out open ports for me. And it tells us which ones it's not able to connect to and it'll tell us which ports are open on which IP addresses. So with that, we'll stop this video here and I'll see you in the next one.